Hi, my name is Alex Fleischman, and welcome to the video overview of the second kinematics equation demonstration. Let's start with the problem. Three students are trying to figure out how high a stomp rocket travels. The teacher has only provided them with a stomp rocket and a timer. How can the students figure out the stomp rocket's maximum height? Note, the initial velocity of the stomp rocket is V initial. Let's create a method for solving this problem using only the given materials. The method must be quantitative. Let's begin with some dimensional analysis. How would the final distance of a rocket compare with the initial distance of the rocket if it is not moving? We could state that the final distance is equal to the initial distance. Let's look at the units of our equation so far. Well, they're in meters. If the rocket is released and travels at a constant velocity, v initial, how can we mathematically relate the velocity in terms of meters? Well, we could state that the distance covered m is equal to the initial velocity times time. This is because meters per second times seconds gives us meters, which is a measure of distance. If a rocket is released and travels at a velocity v initial over time t, from an initial distance y initial, how can we calculate the final distance of the rocket? Well, we could state that the final distance is equal to the initial distance plus the initial velocity times time. Well, what if the rocket is now accelerating at a magnitude a? How can we relate acceleration in terms of meters? Well, we could state that the distance covered y is equal to one half acceleration times the time squared. This is because meters per second squared times second squared gives us meters. Note, the one half in front of the at squared can be explained in the algebraic derivation found in the subsequent slide and the smart notebook presentation. At this moment, pause the video and review the algebraic derivation for the second kinematics equation. So, how can we calculate the final distance of a rocket released with an initial velocity, v initial, and accelerating with a magnitude a over a period time t. So, we could state that the final distance is equal to the initial distance plus the initial velocity times time plus one half times the acceleration of the object times the time squared. This equation is known as the second kinematics equation. Let's return back to the original problem. The stomp rocket is released with an initial velocity, v initial. So, if the stomp rocket is traveling directly upwards, that means that the acceleration acting on the object is equal to the acceleration due to gravity. So, a is equal to negative 9.8 meters per second squared, which is equal to g. If we record the time it takes the object to make one full journey upwards and downwards, Theoretically, the time it takes the object to reach its maximum height is equal to one-half the total journey time. Therefore, t is equal to the total journey time divided by 2. From this information, we can conclude that the maximum height of the rocket will be y final equal to y initial plus v initial times t plus one-half gt squared, and noting that t is equal to the total journey time divided by 2.